Welcome back, guys. I am Mize, and it's been a little while. What are we doing? Last time, I was scared, and I hid myself in here. I think it was because we had lots of bad guys coming at us. And I healed up. Oh, here they are. There we go. Oh, look at this dangerous place. Get over there. checking behind me. Alright, why do I not have any torches in my torch spot? I don't know. Look at all this junk I've got. Alright. Oh! Ow! So, I've got to get used to these controls again. I have been playing a lot of Starbound. Uh, I've been watching Etho play it, and I just couldn't help it but get the game. And it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I better put my sword there. That's where I've got my, my weapon in Starbound, so I'm used to clicking number two for my sword. When I say click, I do mean click. I don't mean on the keyboard because I have uh, a Nagana Epic Mouse, which I've been using since the beginning of my YouTube career. It's a fantastic mouse. It basically has uh, There we go, sorry. As I was saying, it basically has the entire number pad on the side of the mouse where your thumb is. Very, very useful for playing all kinds of games. What's up, buddy? Oh, there's some lag there. I hit him and he didn't jump back at all. place cool. Ow, jerk. So what is my goal? What am I trying to do today? Ooh, not die. That's always a good goal. How much? Uh, we do need coal. There we go. Where are you guys coming from? I better take care of this. You are coming from up here. And you will just keep dropping on me until I take care of this, won't you? Ow! Man, how many to the face? Keeps knocking me back. Okay, what's over? Oh, yes. Finally, diamonds. That makes me very happy. Alright, how to get down there without dying? Let's clear out this area first. More diamonds? Oh, this is fantastic. This is just great. Let's just make 
make sure we get that lava, because knowing me, I'll fall in it, and then it'll all be over. The series will end. Uh oh, oh, good. I have extras. I came prepared. Now, oh, yeah. Fantastic. That's great news. We've got a uh, skeleton spawner and diamond. How many diamonds do we have? this up a little bit more I don't need creepers spawning on me oh, that was dumb could have been a lava pit below and I would have fallen to my death that's all right you guys are waiting for it right I know I am. Three diamonds. All right, we got my pick at least. Now let's go back and get the other diamonds. All right, so this place is pretty dangerous. Let's make it a bit safer. Light it up. Oh, look at that guy just looking at me. That's awesome. All right. Oh, tell me this is an aider. That would be amazing. Oh, it's not. But it's still a good amount. It looks like one, two, three, four, five more diamonds. Ah, diamonds. Where are they? Diamonds. Amazing. And normally I would say let's go back and put anything you know expensive in a chest or whatever that way if I die I don't lose it all but <laughs> yeah if I die we lose it all no matter what so what's the point right might as well just keep the expensive stuff on you cool Okay, so over here we have got a skelly spawner. And that makes me want to make our make my base right here. I'm very happy that we have a skelly spawner. This is just great news. Let's heal up. Let's go in there and clear it out. Here we go. Oh, there's nobody in here. I lit it up good. Okay. Awesome. This is great. Now what do we got in here? Ooh, name tag. Two name tags, some music discs, some redstone. Some horse armor if we find a horse. Wow, more name tags. Wow. Okay, yeah, this is definitely going to be where I'm going to have my base. Hmm. I mean, you know, free bone meal, free arrows. It's a pretty good deal. So, 
I'd like to figure out where the heck I am. Yeah, I just have no idea where I am. And I'd like an easy way to the surface. So, let me get the cords here. So my cords are negative 659 and 420. Hmm. Look at all these guys. Where do all you guys come from? Oh wow, look at all these guys. continue down here and clear this out. Well, that just keeps going, huh? What is this? Access to the open ocean here? Cool. Hmm. Alright, I'm getting too far away. This is interesting though. to the surface. Uh, it's gonna be close. Uh, uh. Come on up, man. The water's fine. Alright, I don't know where the heck I am. I wonder where the island is. Hmm. Alright, well, let's go back down. Grab a quick breath. Hopefully I can go down fast enough. Oh, boy. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, Mr. Creeper, for all the help. Does this just keep going? My goodness. Oh, man, it really does. Okay. And I'm out of torches. Alright, so let's do this. Um, it looks like I'm pretty safe at this point. We're going to skip ahead. I'm going to start building a base and I'll be right back. Okay, so 
this is what I've done so far. I've cleared this out, laid down some stuff, put some of this junk in here, and I started clearing this out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to figure out exactly which corner of the spawner is the center. I don't think I need it to be that efficient. I'm just going to clear out three spaces around the spawner. So that means two of the sides I'll be missing a bunch of spawning spaces, but it's really not the end of the world. Um, also, spawning space for any spawner, as everybody knows, you can, they only spawn one block above um, the block that it's on and one block below. So those three blocks, the, that these three high have to be cleared out. So this will be the ceiling of the spawning room, this will be the floor, and these will be the walls. And once that's all set up, then I'm going to put in um, just some basic water, uh, water conveyor belt system to push our friends here into a lava blade and collect all the goodies. And I think I may even just set up a simple hopper to collect them for me, put them in a chest. Uh, so let me clear out a little bit more. I also just grabbed a whole bunch of dirt. How much dirt did I get? Stack and a half of dirt from a hole over here. So I'm gonna like uh, I'm gonna make a little farm too, a little farm area. So let me clear out the farm area and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. Very nice. Now I just got to fill this in with dirt. Um, and hoe it and put some water in the center and we'll have ourselves a nice little farm. All right, I need another water source block. And I remember I put one here, or I blocked one here. Very nice. All right, let's take this back. Right, so now I have two water source blocks and an infinite spring. Isn't that nice? And I know that this is probably silly, but I really like stuff to look nice. So I started cooking up some cobblestone. I needed some smooth stone. And yes, I'm going to replace these with smooth stone. I just want it to look nice. I'll do that whole wall too in a second. So now I can grab some water, put it right there, very nice, and let's get ourselves some stone slabs, and we'll just cover that up so I don't fall in there, very nice. So now we're ready to till, I said hoe before and that's silly. So let me till this. Okay, all done. So this is a very basic farm design. Uh, it's four away from the water source block in all directions. So it gives you a nine by nine dirt area. I've got it in a 11 by 11 room. Uh, three high, just because I like it three high. It could be too high if you wanted it to. Um, I'm going to put some chandeliers in uh, these locations, I believe. Yeah, right here. Yeah, right there. I think. Something like that. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'll probably make them out of wood. And um, that way we have lots of light in here. And I have lots of stuff to plant. So let's get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I haven't gone back to the main, to my little base yet, uh, to pick up stuff. So all I have are potatoes, or one potato that I picked up off of a zombie. But I do have 22 bones, so I should be able to get a little potato farm going here, I think. Let's give it a try.
Sweet. All right. So what was one potato is now half of the farm filled with potato seeds. This is great. So I will have plenty of food in no time. Now we can continue to work on our base here. Whew, made it back. Man, that was quite a fight to get back here. All right, what is good? What should I take? Uh, trees, seeds, bones. None of these stone tools are worth anything anymore. Gunpowder. Dirt, why not? Buttons are pretty useless. Easy to make. Leather. Don't really care about the blocks all that much. I didn't leave anything in there. Good. Let's take the bed. Good. That's everything. Okay, so the island is at 694 by 607. And uh, we're going to head back now. Do I have enough books for an enchanting table? don't know, but I'm going to make sure. Because wouldn't it be nice? Now that I have diamonds, I should be able to make an enchanting table. Sixty-four books. Is that enough? I don't remember. Hey, what's up, little guy? <laughs> do it. Good amount of books. Alright, let's head back. Now, I was smart enough to mark my path as I went, because it is a bit of a labyrinth. And I did get pretty lost getting there, so. Here's the one marker. Go this way. And down here. Uh, oh yeah, there's the other marker. Go up here. Okay, and... Uh, oh, yeah, I want that. We're going to need that for the lava blade. Cool. There's Go right down this hallway. And left here. And left here. Down here, and we're almost there. Ooh. Another chicken. Nice feather. Cool. And home sweet home. Cool. So we're doing pretty good here. Getting a good amount of supplies going. Come on over, buddy. guys so little time okay cracked mossy I really don't need the sandstone why did I bring that three eggs think I can get a uh, chicken start a chicken farm who knows okay I'll have to organize this stuff later Make some trees if I want. Grow some... Should I grow seeds? You know, the potatoes are so much better. I mean, you do have to cook them. 
but they're really quite good. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with baked potatoes. I really like baked potatoes. Their saturation is very high, which means eating one keeps you full for longer. Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for today. Next time, I want to get my spawner set up and get a path up to the surface and get my food situation completely sorted. And then we'll be ready to try and get some potions, I think. We're going to need to take a trip to the nether for that. And that's where I died last time in my third hardcore world. So we'll see if I make it through episode four. Uh, that's it for today, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.